Gingerbread cookies are such a fun Christmas tradition and my kids love to decorate them. Plus, they're super easy to make. And stay tuned because you're gonna love this icing recipe. It's just three ingredients and it is perfection. And I'm craving some gingerbread cookies, so let's get started. Start by sifting your dry ingredients, and this is to ensure you don't get any lumps in the batter. Sift the flour together with your spices. That's ginger, cinnamon, ground cloves, baking soda, and salt. Sometimes you'll see clumps in the spices and baking soda, and you can break them up using a spatula. Now in a separate large mixing bowl, we're gonna combine your wet ingredients. Start with your butter, which should be softened to room temperature, and I like to break it up into chunks just so it blends easier. Next, add packed light brown sugar, and you know you've packed it correctly when it keeps the form of the measuring cup. Also add your molasses. Using an electric mixer, beat that together on high speed for about three minutes or until the mixture is light and fluffy. Now add your room temperature egg and beat until it's well incorporated. Finally, add your flour mixture and beat on low speed until everything comes together. The dough should be very soft and moist. Generously flour your work surface and turn the dough out onto the floured surface. Also dust the top of the dough with some flour so it doesn't stick to your hands. Then divide it into three equal portions. Pat each piece of dough into a disc, then wrap it in plastic wrap. You'll need to refrigerate the dough for at least an hour to make it much easier to roll out and you can even make it ahead up to 24 hours. Once the dough has been chilled, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit with a rack in the upper and lower third of the oven, or you can just have a rack in the center if you're planning to make one cookie sheet at a time. Keep your work surface and your dough generously dusted with flour, and I like to move the dough around a little bit just to ensure it's not sticking to my surface. Roll the dough out to one quarter inch thickness. If you keep it a quarter inch thick, this will ensure crisp edges and a soft center for your gingerbread men. Now it's time to start cutting out your gingerbread people. Cut out as many gingerbread people as you can and re-roll and repurpose your scraps. A four to five inch cookie cutter works great, but you can use smaller or larger cookie cutters. Just keep in mind smaller cookies will bake a little faster and larger ones might take a little longer. I'm using a variety of sizes so I can make a gingerbread family. It's so important to keep your work surface generously dusted with flour to prevent your cookies from sticking to your cutting board. Remember, this is a very soft dough, so you'll need more flour than you think. Once your cookies are cut out, transfer those to a parchment-lined baking sheet. Make sure they're at least one inch apart because they will expand a little bit in the oven. When you re-roll your scraps, if you find that your dough is getting too soft and sticky to work with, you can cover it with plastic wrap and put it back in the fridge to firm up, then it'll be much easier to roll. I like to bake these one sheet at a time, which is about one disc of dough. That way, while they're baking in the oven, I can roll and cut out the next batch of cookies. Bake the cookies in your fully preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for just nine to 10 minutes. They're done when you start seeing the edges turn golden brown. At this point, they'll still have a softer center, but if you bake them longer, they will be crisp throughout. Transfer your cookies to a cooling rack and repeat baking the rest of the cookies. While those cookies cool, we're gonna make an easy icing. This has just three simple ingredients. It's powdered sugar, milk, and vanilla extract. If you wanna thin out your mixture, you can add a little bit more milk, and to make it thicker, you can add more powdered sugar. You want it to have a thick ribbon consistency. This icing is perfect for decorating cookies because it hardens when it dries. Right away, transfer your glaze to a piping bag. This will help keep it from drying out. Snip off the very tip of your piping bag. You want a hole just large enough to pipe decorations over your cookies. Now you can decorate your gingerbread family to your heart's delight. While the glaze is still moist, I like to add colorful holiday sprinkles, which gives these a lot of festive charm. Decorating these is so fun and they just become irresistibly cute. There's also plenty of icing in this recipe if you wanted to divide it into different bags. That way everyone can have a bag and decorate their own cookie. 
Decorating gingerbread cookies is such a fun activity for Christmas, and these are so beautiful on a Christmas cookie platter. Our cookies are decorated, and it is time for the taste test. And the nice thing about this glaze is you can divide it up into separate baggies and have a cookie decorating party. It doesn't harden very quickly inside of the bag, so this will stay for a little bit, which is great. And just let everybody decorate their cookies the way they want to, and you'll get some really fun ones. I'll show you in a little bit, but I'm gonna dive right into this taste test because I'm craving cookies. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for the lady. Isn't she cute? She's classy. She likes pearls. <laughs> All right, let's, let's just chomp. And it, the beauty of these is if you don't overbake them, they still have like a soft center, so they're so enjoyable. And this glaze hardens pretty quickly. You can touch that and it's already set. So as soon as they're set, you can store them or enjoy them. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. Just gonna go right for her head. <sighs> Savage. <laughs> Here we go. These have so much amazing gingerbread flavor and they're like crisp on the outside and so buttery and just delicious. They've got the perfect color. They bake up beautifully and even, which makes it so easy to decorate these. This is a winning gingerbread cookie recipe, like our go-to. And I think it's gonna become your go-to too. <laughs> but such a fun tradition. And I'm gonna show you some, some uh, featured selections from my daughter's gingerbread cookie decorating. <laughs> she could not resist. I mean, you've got treasured characters like these. Okay, so creative, so adorable. <laughs> I just love these. I just frame them and put them on the wall. <laughs> Look at this. Or you can, it doesn't have to be, oh, that's a lot of sprinkles. It doesn't have to be gingerbread people necessarily. You could also do different shapes. Like here she has the most beautifully de decorated Christmas tree here. So you can do whatever shapes you want and totally make it a cookie decorating party. And then this one. Look at her beautiful lady. I mean, style goals right there. <laughs> I love it. She has her own sense of style. I love it. Anyway, also, if you haven't already checked out our new cookbook, we have some fun recipes in here that are perfect for the holidays. We have one of my favorite cookie recipes that are so festive and beautiful. Totally could be your new favorite Christmas cookie. I will leave a link to this in the notes. It has some of my best recipes and recipes that aren't posted anywhere else. So definitely something that you gotta get your hands on. And I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed Christmas and we'll see you on the next episode of Natasha's Kitchen. Plus, let me know where you spotted Sharky. I'd love to hear from you. All right, I'm gonna go eat this cookie and get some milk. Mmm. Run, run as fast as you can. You gotta catch me up the gingerbread man.